Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel OS VFX. In this tutorial, I am going to show you 4 step circle infographic slide in PowerPoint. So let's start. Go to new slide. Under view, enable the guides. Insert tab, select shapes and select circle hollow. And draw the circle, maybe this size. And reduce the thickness. Maybe this one is enough. Shape outline, no outline. And go to align, center, align, middle. Go to insert tab. Now I'm going to just cut the circle into half. For that, select shape and select rectangle. And draw the rectangle so that it, can, it will cover the half circle. Then select the circle and the rectangle under format tab merge shapes select subtract so you have got the half circle here now go to insert again select the shape select rectangle and draw the rectangle maybe this much is enough make it no outline and align properly just uh, zoom it and align it properly all right go to insert again shape and select oval and draw the oval shape uh, and press the shift key so that it will get the perfect size maybe this size is enough again align center align middle make it no outline and insert one more hollow circle shapes select hollow circle and again the same thing reduce the size maybe is enough again align center align middle make it no outline you can reduce something further maybe this is enough all right now if you see here i have just added one more uh, rectangle here rounded corner I'm going to add the same thing select which is rounded rectangle which is this one top corners rounded rotate it which is 90 degrees reduce the size and maybe this is enough make it no outline and yes so then we can just give some more shadow effect and i will add one more arrow shape here go to insert shapes select uh, this uh, arrow pentagon and make it rotate horizontal again no outline and you can just attach it here okay now I can just go and add some format shape I can give some shadow effect maybe this shadow and for this also I'm just going to give some shadow here all right even if you see here I have created the shadow on this part as well for this I think we no need the shadow so it will be like this let me give the shadow which is this one all right so if you can see our design is almost ready now and even I can give the shadow effect for this one also I will just say this shadow effect and I will say send to back all right now what I'm going to do I'm going to select all and I will group it 
right and I will bring it down let me just reduce the size so it will be something starts here and let's press ctrl D and align so I rotate I will say uh, flip horizontal and then just exactly bring it like this okay again select this one press ctrl D and align it and the last one this one press ctrl D and align it all right so if you see we have almost done the shape okay. so this one has gone up let me just bring this down just spend some time uh, in aligning so that will not uh, mess up I think this is perfect I believe or still there is something here let me just zoom and do it properly once again I think this is okay alright and the last one I think this is no, I think this size is okay I believe the next step is to do the coloring so just uh, all right so first of all I have used something the pink color or whatever color you like just a solid color and you can say select whatever color maybe pink this one I'm just going to give say some purple this one maybe some dark this color and for this one I'm going to give maybe orange let's say orange all right and this I will say send to back format send to back all right so we have almost done so again if you see here this shape is coming like this for that also I'm just going to select say this one press ctrl C and ctrl V rotate it 90 degrees and reduce the size and just bring it here okay now we have almost done so I'm just going to add some text as well as some titles here and some numbers so for me I will just say this is one I'm going to use the font Oswald increase the size make it bold and bring it here and make the color as white so make it same thing this this will be two so we have to just add three and four and then I'm just going to add the titles here which I have did here so just you can copy and paste it here all right so just uh, do the part and then we'll be almost done with the present uh, the tutorial so one more last step we need to do if you see here my video you can see there's some light uh, circles also here for that one i'm going to use this one press ctrl c and ctrl v all right and rotate it format rotate uh, horizontal and make it more transparent maybe 65 percent and just bring it here all right 
the same thing i'm just going to select this one press ctrl c and ctrl v as usual you have to rotate it and make it transparency level 65 percent and just bring it here and just say send to back the same thing ctrl c and ctrl v rotate it make it 65 percent and just bring it here make sure that you align it properly press ctrl d for the last one sorry ctrl c and ctrl v make it rotate horizontal it's 65 percent and just bring it here and send it back all right so we have uh, done with this one so if you can see this is how it will look like once you have uh, finalized your uh, presentation so that's it from me friends so hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel osvfx see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye